Quarter 3, Module 7 Visualizing, Measuring, and Finding Perimeter Good day, learners! Welcome to our class. I'm Teacher Sharilea A. Capuno, your math teacher. Before we start, let us remember the virtual class rules. For our virtual class rules, let's all remember this. 1. Focus on the video lesson. 2. Listen attentively. 3. Answer your modules on your own. And lastly, stay safe and healthy. Follow safety protocols and always wash your hands to protect yourself from COVID-19. This video was done to help pupils understand concept and develop skills needed to get the perimeter of any given figure. At the end of these modules, the learners will be able to Visualize the perimeter of any given plane figure in different situations. Let's have a review. Do this before we start. Match the following expressions in column A with their corresponding estimated ellipse time in column B. Write the letter of the correct answer on a sheet of paper. You can pause the video to answer the activity. These are the following answers. Number 1, letter C. Number 2, letter D. Number 3, letter A. Number 4, letter E. And number 5, letter B. Good job, kids! To get started, let us sing this song entitled, The Perimeter Song. Perimeter, it's easy to find. Just set up the length around the outside. Perimeter, it's easy to find. Just set up the length around the outside. Just set them up. 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 Just add them up, just add them up, just add them up. Perimeter, it's easy to find. Just add up the lengths around the outside. Perimeter, it's easy to find. Just add up the lengths around the outside. Just add them up, just add them up, just add them up, just add them up. That's great! As the song goes, we have to remember that perimeter is all around us. Let us read and analyze this problem. Maria wants to stay fit and so she walks around the park every day before going to school. What is the distance that Maria covers every day? Do you know that walking is very important? It can increase cardiovascular fitness, strengthen bones, and burn calories. So make it a habit to walk. How will you find the answer to this problem? What figure is shown in the illustration? Parallelogram. Correct. How many sides does it have? Four sides. Good job! If we are to get the perimeter of the figure, what do we need to do? To solve for the answer to this problem, you add up the measurement of the sides of the park. The park has four sides, so 55 meters plus 40 meters plus 60 meters plus 35 meters is equals to 190 meters. So, Maria walks a distance of 190 meters every day. This distance around the park is called perimeter. The word perimeter has been derived from the Greek word peri, meaning around, and metron, which means measure. So, a perimeter is the total length of the side of a shape. We often find the perimeter when putting up a fence around the house, finding the total length of a vegetable garden, 
the length of the ribbon required to cover a table mat, or the distance covered when you walk around the rectangular lot three times. If we want to find out measurements, we can use ruler. A ruler is used to measure short objects or distances such as the length of a desk. Or a meter sticks. A meter stick measures in inches, feet, or meters. A football field measures in meters. What is the shape of this figure? Correct, it is a square. The square has four equal sides, so the measurement on one side can be added four times or can also be multiplied by four to get its perimeter. Solve this, we can use this formula. Perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side or perimeter equals four times side. So the answer here is perimeter equals 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 is equal to 24 centimeters. Or perimeter equals 4 times 6 is equal to 24 centimeters. So the perimeter of the square is 24 centimeters. What figure is shown in the illustration? Correct. The figure is a rectangle. How many sides does it have? It has two pairs of parallel sides. It has four sides in all. If we are to get the perimeter of the figure, what do we need to do? Correct. To get the perimeter of the rectangle, we can simply use these formulas. Perimeter equals 2 times length plus width or perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side. So the perimeter of the rectangle is perimeter equals 2 times 7 plus 3. So the answer is 20 centimeters. Or perimeter equals 7 plus 3 plus 7 plus 3 is equals to 20 centimeters. So the perimeter of the rectangle is 20 centimeters. I am going to build a nipa hat with a triangular roof measuring 10 cm on each side. What is the perimeter of the roof? The formula of a triangle is perimeter equals side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3. So the perimeter of the triangle is 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equals to 30 cm. Easy, right? Now, let's answer this activity. Direction Visualize the perimeter of the following plane figures. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. You can pause the video to answer this activity. Number 1 Number 2 Number three, number four, and number five. Let's check for work. Number one, the answer is 16 centimeters. Number two, the answer is 28 centimeters. Number three, 18 centimeters. Number four, we have 26 centimeters. And lastly, the perimeter is 36 centimeters. Well done! Let us try to answer this one. Let's try this activity. Visualize the perimeter of the following plane figures. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. I am a sphere measuring 15 centimeters on each side. What is my perimeter? Number 2. I am a Iskalian triangle measuring 12 centimeters, 15 centimeters, and 20 centimeters. 
What is my perimeter? Number 3. A rectangle has a length of 22 meters and has a width of 10 meters. The perimeter of the rectangle is... Number 4. The trapezoid measures 10 feet, 12 feet, 15 feet, and 14 feet on its sides. What is my perimeter? Number 5. I am parallelogram with longer sides 24 meter each and the shorter sides 12 meter each. My perimeter is... You can pause the video to answer the activity. Let's answer your work. Number 1. So the answer is 60 centimeters. Number 2. The answer is 47 centimeters. Number 3. The answer is 64 centimeters. Number 4. 51 feet. And lastly, number 5. 72 meters. Very good! Let us remember perimeter by seeing this song. Perimeter tells us the whole length around. It measures the outside, the walls, or the ground. Perimeter measure, that's what we say when we measure the outside at night or at day. Perimeter, now that's the sound. Perimeter, the length around. Perimeter, now that's the sound. Perimeter, the length around. My dog and I walked around the backyard. It wasn't very far and it wasn't very hard. There were four sides. One, two, three, four. Measure them quick. 20, 10, 20, 10. We use tape measure and yardstick. 20 plus 10 plus 20 plus 10. That's 60 yards. Let's walk it again. 20 plus 10 plus 20 plus 10. Perimeter 60, a fact you can't hide. Perimeter measures around the outside. Perimeter, now that's the sound. Perimeter, the length around. Perimeter, now that's the sound. Perimeter, the length around. Perimeter tells us how far around. It won't show the area or height off the ground. Like the length of a fence, whether short or immense. Perimeter measures how far around. Perimeter, now that's the sound. Perimeter, the length around. Perimeter, now that's the sound. Perimeter, the length around. That's great! Easy, right? Now, let's answer this activity. Piggy needs to find the house with the largest perimeter. Help Piggy by finding the perimeter of each house. Then, color the largest one. These are the following houses. With luck, you can do it. The biggest house is letter C. Thank you for helping Piggy! Good job, kids! For the last activity, using the centimeter part of your ruler, draw a house using the following measurements. The perimeter of the roof is 250 centimeters. Number 2, window is 66 centimeters. Number 3, door is 126 centimeters. And number 4, the main house is 290 centimeters. You can pause the video to answer the activity. I hope that you learned a lot from our lesson. Thank you for watching. Bye!